Good morning and welcome to Cooking with Benedicta in Tastebud's Kitchen. Today on our menu we have Anambra bitter leaf soup. Anambra bitter leaf soup is popularly known as Ofe Onubo in Anambra State. It's a special delicacy prepared for very special occasions in Anambra State. However, we have different versions, or rather I'll say different recipes of cooking Anambra bitter leaf soup. But today I'm going to be sharing with you the original recipe, the authentic recipe of preparing Anambra bitter leaf soup, popularly known as Ofe Onu. So we're going to be cooking the soup today using the Anambra bitter leaf. When you're, when you're making bitter leaf soup, the Anambra way, your bitter leaf, first of all, is going to be long grain. We're not going to have the bitter leaf chopped in bits. As you can see here, this bitter leaf is already washed and it's in long grains. It's, it's in long strands. It's not cut. This actually is supposed to be a whole different video on how to wash bitter leaves from the fresh state to this state where you can see that it's long. This, luckily for us, is um, obtainable in the local markets in this state. You can get it already washed, but I like to wash mine myself so that way I eliminate the sand particles totally because I found out that the ones you buy from the market is usually sandy, so I like to wash mine myself. But it's a very long process so in order for us not to waste too much time on this video i already washed this before this video so i think when i'm less busy i'm going to do this in a totally different video for those of you that might want to wash your bitter leaf from scratch like i do mine so here is our anambra bitter leaf in the long strands washed and all set to be cooked so we're using this for our Anambra bitter leaf soup today, popularly known as Ofe Nubu. Here you can see we have our stockfish head. By the way, some of you wonder why I'm using stockfish head instead of the regular tail. Yes, you can add the regular stockfish tail to it for the, you know, for the feel of uh, chewing stockfish or having stockfish to chew in your soup. But this is the real deal. In terms of the flavor, or rather in terms of making your bitter leaf soup very flavorful, you cannot make a number of bitter leaf without a stockfish head. So this is our stockfish head all washed and ready to be cooked. And for today, I'm using goat meat because my clients particularly asked for goat meat and assorted meat. So this is our freshly chopped goat meat, as you can see. And this is my favorite dried asa fish popularly known as eja awesome i actually buy my uh eja awesome fresh from the fish market and i have the local women help me dry it so it's usually very fresh and quite expensive i must tell you but it's it's worth every penny i <laughs> so that's it like i said she wanted goat meat and assorted meat so this is our goat meat over here and here is our boiled assorted meat. As you can see, we have the shaki, we have the pomo, we have the beef, and some of the cow head. Mm. So this is all boiled because this is tougher to cook. So I, I already steamed this this morning using just a bit of seasoning cube and salt. No onions. I know you'll ask me why. When we are making very native uh, dishes or rather native soups, we, we would rather not use onions because onions has a way of reducing that local taste that you want to have in your food. It has a way of diluting the flavor of the crawfish and diluting the flavor of the stockfish. So we try to use very little or no onion at all in steaming our meat. So that being said, here is our ground crawfish. A bit of a uh, Cameroon pepper all ground, some salt, seasoning cubes. We might not use all of this, we might just use one or two seasoning cubes because I have here my native seasoning. This is known as Ogiri, Ogiri Anambra. 
it is made in my village. Uh, I'm from Oka in Anambra State. So I don't know, I think they make it in some other Eastern states as well. But this is our own local seasoning. So when you're using a lot of this or when you're using some of this, you really do not need to use a lot of the bouillon cubes because this is our own local seasoning that gives the bitter leaf soup that local taste that you, you know if you've eaten the soup before. Now, this is our coquillam paste. This coquillam paste was made using freshly pounded coquillam mixed with some palm oil. This I'm going to upload as a separate video. Okay, this is Adi Anambra, or you can just call it coquillam, pounded coquillam paste mixed with some palm oil. Now, why do we mix this with some palm oil? It is because in preparing this bitter leaf soup, we do not add palm oil directly to the soup. I remembered once when I put up a post of a already prepared bitter leaf soup and somebody came and said, oh, I think the palm oil is too much. You put too much of the palm oil. And I was like, I'm sorry, but where I come from, we do not add palm oil directly to the soup. Like you can see, this is the, uh, this is the broth. The meat has been steamed so this is the base in which the soup is going to be prepared and we are not going to be adding palm oil to this soup so every palm oil we're going to be needing for this soup has already been added to this cochlear paste here so you, you don't have palm oil floating in your soup when it's all done so now that i've introduced you to all the ingredients we're going to be using today we're going to proceed to the business of cooking the soup so i'm going to be adding this why did i not steam my goat meat hmm i'm using local goat i don't know if you guys are used to or you know about native goat native goat is very tender the male goat is very tender it cooks uh, within five to ten minutes yes so you don't want to start uh, pre-cooking it with the very tough cow skin and shaki which is the um, uh, assorted part of the cow you do not want to prepare your goat meat with that because this is just going to boil in five to ten minutes so i'm now going to be putting this into our pot and then i'm going to be adding uh, i'm going to be adding some of the crayfish okay Remember, it depends on the type of goat meat you're using. If you're using the very tough, I'm sorry, the Adamawa goats, the ones we get from the north, they can be quite tough. If you're using that type of goat meat, then maybe you should steam your goat meat earlier. But like I said, mine is the local uh, goat, the native goat, male goat that is very soft. So that's why I'm putting this in now. So I'm putting some fresh ground pepper by the way, this are uh, this are uh, brown scotch, uh, red scotch bonnet pepper. It's already blended. Like I said, I, I do not want to bore you with an extremely lengthy video. So some of this are going to be posted as uh, different videos. For example, the making of the cochlear paste with palm oil is going to be posted as a separate video. And then the washing of the bitter leaf is also going to be posted as a separate video. So remember, we're steaming our meat, stockfish, and everything with some brown, fresh, scotch red bonnet pepper, some Cameroon pepper, some crayfish. I'm not going to put uh, seasoning cubes because there's already seasoning cubes in the stock. So this is just going to go on the gas stop. And I'm going to add a little more water so the goat and the stockfish and everything can steam properly. So I hope we get the segment of it. So this is going to go to the gas stop. And when the steaming is done, we are now going to introduce the bitter leaf. Keep watching. So here we have our pot on the gas stop. We're going to be adding a little more water. So the stock fish and dry fish can all steam together with our already boiled assorted meat. 
you want to put enough water but not too much so that way the stockfish can simmer in the broth of the meat and they can all exchange their different flavors bringing your broth to one unique delicious photo soup so this is going to steam for like uh, 30 minutes so yeah about no about 15 to 20 minutes then we're going to introduce our bitter beef into this we're going to be adding the Oguria Nambra. Remember I told you about the lo local seasoning that we needed to add, which is the Oguri Anambra. In case you've forgotten, this is the Oguri Anambra. Uh, local seasoning made, I think, from the east. Not I think, I know it's made from the east, but I do not know if we'll have people making them all around Vegas, but it usually comes in from the east. It's very flavorful, and without this ingredient, your Anambra bitter leaf soup is never going to have that authentic bitter leaf soup uh, taste that the Anambra recipe using the Anambra recipe for bitter leaf soup if you do not add this seasoning or rather this local seasoning your bitter leaf soup is not going to be the Anambra bitter leaf soup this is actually what makes it Anambra bitter leaf soup this Ogiri you can see before me local seasoning this is what's going to change the entire flavor of the soup so I'm going to be introducing this now into the boiling pot. So this is it. Or rather, we're going to do this to ensure it totally melts into the pot. See this? So any moment from now, I'm going to be introducing our bitter leaf, already washed bitter leaf into this. But I just want the meat to simmer a bit with this local seasoning. Then I'll be adding my bitter leaf soup. As you can see, our shaki, pomo, the goat meat, the dried fish, everything is very tender now. And it has absorbed the ingredients properly. So we're now going to be introducing our bitter leaf soup, our bitter leaves into the soup in the next five minutes. We are now adding our bitter leaf to the boiling pot. Our already washed bitter leaf. We're adding it to the boiling pot. But remember, you can add as much bitter leaf as you want. Some people like a lot of bitter leaf in their soup, while some do not like so much of the leaf. They rather have more of the sauce of the soup than the bitter leaf. So it all depends on how thick you want your soup to be. So if you want it to be very thick, or you want it to be They light, it all depends. So this is a you have to boil your bitter leaf fat in the in the broth of the soup before adding your cocoa yam. Now that is the final secret in making this soup a heat. Your bitter leaf has to boil in the broth of the soup before adding your cocoa yam. When I eat a pot of bitter leaf soup, that is prepared by an, an Lamberian or someone from the East, I usually know because of uh, the method used in preparing the soup. I always know, I can tell if the bitter leaf was added before adding the cochlear paste or it was added after adding the cochlear paste. So for you to get it right and make it a hit, you have to add your bitter leaf before adding your cochlear paste. So now this bitter leaf is going to simmer for about 5 to 10 minutes and then we're going to add our coffee and paste and our soup is ready. Can you see how beautiful this looks already? It doesn't look green and um, unattractive or unappetizing. It looks really attractive and one of the secrets is using very red scotch bonnet peppers. When you use very red scotch bonnet peppers, very fresh and red scotch bonnet peppers. 
it adds this beautiful color to your soup. It adds a very beautiful color to the pot of soup. So even before you add the cooked yam that has the palm oil, your soup is looking very attractive already. So I do not believe that your vitamin soup has to look ugly and green and all of that <laughs> before you know it's the real deal. And this can also create that illusion that a lot of palm oil was used in making the soup. Mm -hmm. We do not use a lot of palm oil in making this soup, but yet it still looks attractive. So our bitter leaf is ready now. We're just going to add the cochlear yam paste, which serves as a tick, uh, thickening agent. This is going to thicken the soup. Remember I told you I'm going to make a new video or a totally different video on how to make this cochlear yam paste from the scratch. So I'm just going to add this to the soup and this is going to make the soup cheaper. We're going to keep adding this until we feel the soup is thick enough. Now remember, the consistency of your soup depends on how you want it. Some people like their bitter meat soup very thick, while some like it a bit watery. So I'm just going to add this to thicken it, but I do not want it to be very thick. The client I'm making this for wants to have it a bit runny. Preference, I guess that's the preference. She wants it a bit runny. But the real recipe is still this way. You don't have to make it too thick. You don't have to make it too watery. It's supposed to be a bit runny. So when you put your swallow food in it, you know, it's going to go all around your swallow. So never mind the tiny lumps you're seeing. It's all going to melt away in the heat of the soup. Can you see that the consistency is changing? It's uh, getting thicker gradually. So at this point, you can choose to stop adding the thickener, uh, which is the cocoyam paste mixed in palm oil, or you can still add a bit more. But like I said, if you do want it to be very thick, or very watery or slightly runny it depends on personal preference but this is how it should be okay so that is it we've just added our entire cookayam paste into this now we're going to allow it to simmer for about 10 minutes so the paste is going to uh, go properly it's going to go around in the, in the pot of soup you do not want to see any tiny lumps or any white uh, uh, pecks in the food you want everything to go into the soup so we're going to leave it to boil All right. our bitter leaf soup is all set and ready can you see how smooth the paste uh, what the sauce looks now the cocoyam paste has been thoroughly absorbed by the broth of the soup. So now this is it, it's all set. So you can have it with your favorite swami. Either oatmeal or you want it, or you want to have it with pounded yam or you want to have it with ebba. So this is our Anambra bitter leaf soup. All ready. So guys, thanks for watching and see you next time. Goodbye. So guys, here is our pot of Anambra Beauty Leaf Soup, popularly known as Ofe Omubu. It is all set to be taken to the dining. And remember, you can eat this with any swallow of your choice. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you have learned how to make Anambra Beauty Leaf Soup the Anambra way, using all our local ingredients. So thank you for watching and if you're not subscribed to our channel, it is Taste Buds without the NG on YouTube. Taste Buds without the NG. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel and remember to drop your comments. Thank you for watching. It's bye bye for now.
from Benedicta here in Tate God's Kitchen.